Hey guys, welcome to the subway in Stockholm. And trust me, this is pretty amazing. So over there, we can't really make it out that well. Though we'll try. That's the 1912 Olympic Stadium here in Stockholm. And this stadium is still around, still hosting soccer and track. And this is where the Olympics took place in 1912. Wasn't as big a deal as it is now. Now I think there's some uh, football teams that play here. But that's not why I'm out tonight. I'm out tonight because of what's down here. So guys, my microphone is dead. <laughs> so we're gonna have to use the microphone on the device. Hopefully, hopefully the wind will die down. Welcome to the Stockholm Underground, where they just carved the stations out of the granite. And I think I want to go this way to start. But because it was so depressing to just have the rocks and everything, they decided to paint all the stations as a giant work of art. The Stockholm subway system is the longest art gallery in the world. We have a train coming in two minutes. of all the football teams here. This is the University Station, and it's got all sorts of mathematical and other equations and whatnot. stop I just made a mistake so we're kind of stuck here while they readjust trains our next trains coming in four minutes this is the central station but we're just gonna transfer here we're gonna come back here later because this is a pretty amazing station so this is central station this is one of the more famous stations because of this Let's go down, slide out to another station.
Yikes, that's my train. Okay, that was my train, but I thought it was out of service, so I didn't get on it, and now I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> I've got to wait seven minutes for the next train. This is the central train station. I just paused to get a drink. But let's get back on the T, the tunnel train. These are all over too to give you sort of a sense of direction. This is a pretty amazing station here. Solna Centrum. Let's see if we can get down to the bottom before our train comes. I had to come out at this station because my ticket had expired. You get like a 90 minute ticket and 75 minute ticket. Mine, because of all the trains I've been missing. <laughs> Pretty insane station. No? Someone said this station looks like hell. Like, literally looks like hell. <laughs> I don't know about that. But it is pretty funky. about sort of like the destruction of the rural areas and the move to the cities. That's what this artwork is supposed to signify. We're on the subway in Stockholm, and it's not just about getting from point A to point B. It's about getting from point A to point B with style. Passenger elevator. Passenger escalator. So guys, we finished the subway ride and now we've got a scooter. <laughs> yeah, let's do it.
some point I think I should turn left. Maybe not yet. Washington, D.C., which is not good when it's dark and you're lost in a foreign country. check my phone, but that kind of would be cheating, wouldn't it? It's more fun just to figure this out. If we keep going this way, we'll run into a road that I might know, or maybe the other drain will go into a road I might know. Maybe we're just really lost. I recognize this. I know this lamp shop. I know where I'm at. Well, if not, there should be. I mean, if I was a bike lane, I'd be here. There's a bike lane on the other side. Hey, there's the 7-Eleven. I know where I'm at. I'm back. Yep, Washington DC is quite wet and rainy today. And it's actually flooding down on the Potomac. But anyway, that's uh, my trip to Sweden. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it didn't bother you. Even though only what, like a hundred of you unsubscribed. Go figure. Anyway, we're back to Washington. We'll show you the stuff you guys like to see and well, some other stuff too. Thanks a lot for watching. Talk to you soon.